वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डिजिटल इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट एंड इन दैट स्पेसिफिकली आई विल डिस्कस वोल्टेज एंड करंट पैरामीटर्स ऑफ डिजिटल इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट एज वेल एज आई एक्सप्लेन यू नॉइस मार्जिन ऑफ डिजिटल इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट सो टू अंडरस्टैंड वोल्टेज एंड करंट पैरामीटर्स ऑफ डिजिटल इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वन शुड नो वॉट इज इनपुट वोल्टेज स्पान ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड लॉजिक गेट एंड वॉट इज आउटपुट वोल्टेज स्पान ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड लॉजिक गेट सो फॉर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू दिस बाय ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट एंड देन वन बाय वन आई डिफाइन ऑल दोज पैरामीटर्स सो हियर आई एल बी मेकिंग आउटपुट वोल्टेज टू टाइम ग्राफ and here i'll be making input voltage to time graph and here we are not much concerned with respect to time but we are very much concerned with respect to voltage range right so when we talk about output voltage range then let us say here we have a range in which we define logic 1 and here we have a voltage range for output that defines logic 0 so that is for output now let us say here for input we have a voltage range that defines our input with logic 1 and here this is the voltage range at input side that defines logic zero so based on this first i'll explain you different parameters which is there with integrated circuit for voltages now you see this is output voltage graph where you see this is vcc and this is vcc for input voltage this is voltage zero for output and this is voltage zero for input so if you observe this line is a threshold voltage of output to remain logic high right so we can say this is voh minimum means it is a minimum voltage required at output side to have logic 1 and if you see this voltage boundary then that defines a maximum voltage which is there with logic 0 at output side so i can say this is vol max right similarly with this input if you see this voltage that defines logic 1 with minimum voltage so i can say this is vih minimum means it is a minimum voltage required at input to have logic 1 and if you see this voltage boundary so that is there for logic 0 so that is vi l max means it is a maximum input voltage required to have logic 0 right so that is how four different voltages are there let me mention that over here first so voh that is minimum output voltage treated as logic 1 vol max that is maximum output voltage treated for logic 0 vih is minimum input voltage for logic 1 and vil that is maximum input voltage for logic 0 and similarly with respect to voltage there are current definition and those current definitions are there along with the voltages so ioh is high level output current iol that is low level output current iih that is 
high level input current and IIL that is low level input current. Now let us try to understand this by practical example. So that will gives you a bit clear idea. So for that here I will be going to consider a basic circuit where here let us say I am having one NAND gate and that is connected with NOT gate as you can see it over here and here first what I will do is I will connect this NAND gate with ground. Ground means logic low. Right. So as if you provide both inputs as logic low then here output will be logic high. And as output is logic high, one can say here our voltage and output that has to be VOH, right. So it should be that otherwise your circuit cannot function properly. So it should be minimum of VOH, right. It should be minimum of VOH and here this voltage that is given to input over here. So here you will be finding input that has to be minimum of VIH. So if it is minimum of VIH then this NOT gate can function properly. Right. So input of this logic gate that must be VIH of minimum. Then only you will be finding transition of this signal will happen at this end, right. Now second, con second case that I will be going to consider. So in second case, I will connect this NAND gate with VCC. VCC means logic high and here I am going to connect this NOT gate like this. Now you see because of both of this input is connected as logic high, here output will be logic low. So if you observe our output voltage over here, then that has to be V maximum of VOL. That has to be maximum of VOL. And that is what we are giving it to input to this NOT gate. So if you observe, that has to be VIL at max, right? That has to be VIL at max. Then only proper output will come at this end of this NOT gate, right? So that is our voltage range that has been defined here. Similarly, if you want to understand current, then you see for this particular case, if I say this current at output side, that is IOH, then input to this current that has to be IIH, right. Then only this gate can be driven properly. And with this condition, if I say my output current over here for low, what IOL current over here, right. So over here, it has to be IIL, right. And if it is not happening in that case, there can be malfunctioning of this circuit and proper output may not come. So that is how this different definitions is there. And this is very essential in terms of noise immunity of the system even. So noise immunity of the system is defined by noise margin. Now let us try to understand what is noise margin. Now if you observe, you see logic 1 range at input that is bit greater compared to logic 1 range at output side, right. And if you observe logic 0 range at input is greater compared to logic 0 range at output side. So if I take extension like you see, I am taking this extension, right, then one can say this is what noise immunity 
फॉर लॉजिक हाई एंड दिस इज नॉइस इम्यूनिटी फॉर लॉजिक लो नाउ इन टेक्निकल डेफिनेशन वन कैन से दिस इज नॉइस मार्जिन फॉर लॉजिक हाई एंड दैट इज वी ओ एच माइनस वी आई एच एंड वी कैन से इन टेक्निकल डेफिनेशन दिस इज नॉइस मार्जिन फॉर लॉजिक लो दैट इज वी आई एल माइनस वी ओ एल सो दिस इज आउ नॉइस इम्यूनिटी इज अंडरस्टूड इन डिजिटल आई सी आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू गिव यूर वैल्यूएबल सजेशन द रीजन इज योर सजेशन आर मोटिवेटिंग मी एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट इन फ्यूचर आई बी मेकिंग वीडियोज विच विल बी सॉल्विंग यूर क्वेरीज सो प्लीज डू गिव यूर वैल्यूएबल सजेशन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो